Hey friends, let's do our update video right now on FAMI. Today is Monday. You know what? I'm just going to talk about this every day until we see something happen here, good or bad. So today, you know, I, I just made a video obviously last night about these guys and I said probably today, Monday, we're going to see this probably walk into a 30 cent zone. Now, we just fell short of that. We are, this thing was getting pumped pretty good here. But right around this 30 cent zone, you know, we were just having major, major resistance and, you know, seeing a lot of sell orders come in for not a ton of shares, 5,000 to, you know, 400. Some people were selling uh, two shares at a time. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. But, you know, there was things like that and then seeing the volume kind of just split down the middle. So, you know, honestly, I, I'm going to be honest, this wasn't a terrible day. Obviously, this is not the, the day that we're looking for we're looking for the day where we see bigger numbers but today what we saw we saw a walk up you know this could have gone real this could have gone south you know this could have gone a lot worse but it didn't we actually had a pretty good day of seeing some form of life come in this now obviously with this week this is the last full week in November Thursday the market is closed Friday the market will be open until one o'clock so that Friday is going to be pretty interesting because you know we could see a lot of heavy volume happen that Friday because we're gonna be you know things are gonna be a little bit weirder because the market's not gonna be open as long so it's gonna be an interesting day and then obviously Wednesday you know will be our last day open until Thanksgiving and then, like I said, that Friday into one. So we've still got quite a bit of time to see if something can come up here with this. So people have been asking me, like, is this going to, you know, delist itself from the, the market? Th there's no talks of that right now. Right now, what we're looking at is for them to file for this 180 day extension. And plus, like I said in the last video, there is so much that's going to be happening here with this company in the future. And this is what this is like what I tell people. So obviously, you know, you have to invest at your own risk. Is, is this risky? Yeah, this is probably one of the riskiest things you can get involved with right now in the market. So say Saying that you need to see both sides you need to see the risk and you need to see what could possibly happen with this and you know why people are so obsessed with this right now uh, this is why because the future the next year of this stock this company has bought into other companies it's emerging becoming a bigger company in the health field food market every you know all that kind of stuff that's big money and we're expecting this quarterly that's going to come out to actually be pretty decent which is going to be great for the overall health and wellness and survival of the future of this stock and company so looking at next year there's a lot of big things that we know are already set to happen the date has already been put pen to paper so there's a lot of things cooking in the oven right now so you know we're not seeing terrible news come out about you know reverse split, delisting, you know, those articles have not come out. Those things have not come out. The company has not talked about anything like that. We do know that there is a big meeting happening here in December, the end of December, this extraordinary meeting that they have been talking about. So right now, that's pretty much all we know, and that's all we have to go off of right now, waiting for the next big thing to happen. Now, obviously, before that time, I'm expecting something to come out here talking about the company, especially when we get through November here. Obviously, the company more than likely is going to be releasing some news about how November went. Obviously, they did, did not hit their mark, meeting this dollar consistent 10-day period on the stock. And, you know, more than likely, that's going to be addressed by them or probably all these analysts are going to be writing pretty negative articles about them but like i said too the weird thing about this situation that we're seeing right now is that there's actually a lot of articles right now that are saying this is the hottest and most potential penny stock out there right now to bust into something pretty big here so friends with all that said you know do your own due diligence obviously thank you for listening to me thank you for being here you know i i love talking about this and having people here and us communicating about what's going on because that's how you get further into the stock market that's how you make money you listen to people you communicate everybody helps one another that's how you get far in things like this and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But, you know, do your own research to make yourself feel comfortable about this. If you can afford to get in this and you feel good about it, 
then do what you want to do. If you can't, man, just stay on the sidelines and watch it. You know, take this as a learning lesson and watch what happens with this situation. It's a very interesting. If you love watching this kind of stuff, which, you know, I do. I'm a fan of watching stocks and when there's drama unfolding. This is kind of stuff that, you know, personally I like. Obviously, I have quite a bit of money wrapped up in this situation right now. But this is a situation, too, that is teaching me more and more. And, you know, I'm learning more from it and there's always new tricks of the trade to be learned no matter how long you've been in the stock market so friends with all that said remember be positive be you take time to invest in your future and friends i will talk to you tomorrow for sure <laughs> bye everyone have a great day hey.